Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. Um, we gather today here at the Police Academy to celebrate National Police Remembrance Day that is acknowledged all around the country on the 29th of this month. It's obviously a very uh, sad day in terms of the police officers who have sacrificed the, their life in the line of duty. And today we added great Brevet Sergeant Jason Drew to the list of South Australian police officers who died in the line of duty. Um, regrettably, that takes our total number to 62. Um, but as you saw today, what, um, what we have is an outpouring of support from our community for the South Australia Police. Um, as we acknowledge Jason's dedication and diligent service, particularly to country policing. Um, and at the same time today in Canberra, Commissioner of Police is attending the National Police Remembrance Day with Jason's mother and father and brothers um, in acknowledgement of the salt and the sacrifice that he, he played in serving the community of South Australia. Um, so, um, we like to acknowledge that this is a bigger part of our organisation. We know it's a very dangerous, inherently dangerous occupation. And whilst we guard against preventing these situations, sometimes um, they are beyond our control um, and um, it makes us pause and reflect every day on what our front, frontline police officers do for our community. Thank you, Deputy Commissioner. This is a very solemn day and a moment for South Australians to pause and reflect on the commitment, dedication and on occasion sacrifice that South Australian police officers have made to protect our community. 62 South Australian police officers have made the ultimate sacrifice and we honour them today and their families and we recognise the ongoing commitment of all South Australian police officers. As the Deputy Commissioner has indicated, the Commissioner is representing South Australia in Canberra today as are four police greys and of course I understand as well that Faye, Robert and Brett, family of uh, Brevet Sergeant Jason Doig are also in Canberra for that occasion. I wonder if there are any questions. Deputy uh, Commissioner, this is always a, an emotional day for police. Um, what, what does today signify, especially given the, the passing of Brevet Sergeant Roy? Today is an opportunity for the whole of South Australia Police and the community to reflect on the service that's been provided um, and how much police officers do put themselves in the lot, you know, get at risk in the, the jobs that they do. Um, sometimes we know that a job we're attending could be potentially very dangerous, and there are other circumstances where we just can't predict. Um, so we reflect today on how important it is for us to train our police officers really thoroughly um, and to support them um, as they move forward into their frontline duties because um, each day there is a level of strength and a level of courage and commitment that's required by our police officers to keep us all safe. So this is a, an opportunity for us to acknowledge that, not just here in South Australia as we, as we sadly heard, we're also acknowledging the lives of other police officers around Australia who were also taken in the past 12 months. Sometimes you just have to take that step back from what you're doing every day to um, acknowledge that um, what police officers do is really important. And it does mean a lot to police officers to see community support, as we saw with the passing of Jason. Um, the level of support was very overwhelming and I had the opportunity um, to talk to many police officers around the state, particularly those in Lucendale and Mount Gambia and how much that supported them to get back to doing what they do every day was really important. I mean, I think it's an acknowledgement of how um, our police officers are highly regarded in the community of South Australia. Can you talk about the role of bravery and sacrifice in being a police officer? Um, well, when you think about when things are going really difficult or bad in the community, everyone calls police officers because they feel comforted that the police are, are there to actually um, and make an assessment in a calm, well-trained, well-executed manner. So um, to do those things sometimes when you know you are facing difficult situations, um, people in their most difficult and complicated aspects of their life, and we are there to try and work through what the issues are for the best possible outcome from everyone. It takes a level of, I think, bravery and courage just to go forward, just to talk to people, just to put yourself in a situation where other people um, rightly are concerned. Can you talk a little bit about the bravery awards that have been uh, given to uh, Jason Boyd as well as um, Sergeant Hutchinson as well? Um, what can you tell us about that? So, um, Private Sergeant David Doig received the South Australia Police Bravery Medal that's conferred by South Australia Police. Um, that was in recognition of um, the, da 
danger that he put himself um, personal uh, whilst um, having been shot, seriously injured, and still having the presence of mind to um, return fire at the offender. Um, and there's no doubt that that action saved two other police officers' lives. Um, that sacrifice um, in those circumstances is extraordinary and uh, it deserved the Police Bravery Medal. Uh, Sergeant Hutchinson was um, conferred the Bravery Medal by the Police Federation of Australia um, um, for his um, calmness and his response in the same situation. So both were recognised by different awards for their bravery. Minister. There may be some other questions of the day and um, Waco has suggested that we shoot those away from the wall, which I think might be Can a I just sense. get one more on this from you, if, oh, this, oh, if possible? Yeah, yeah, that's okay. Um, Minister, when a police officer dies, it not only affects the policing community, but the community as a whole really does get impacted when someone does die in the, in the line of duty. I guess, what's your message to the community more generally about Remembrance Day and, and what that means for, for people more broadly? The loss of any police officer hits every South Australian very, very hard. And we res deeply respect our police officers in our police force and we know of course that uh, the loss of any officer uh, of is of course recognised uh, at the occasion but thereafter um, on every Remembrance Day which, which of course uh, has brought us together today. Anything else on Remembrance Day?